hello everyone this is imelda again today i'm gonna show you how i made my very first baby memory kilt so what i got here is loads of um, baby grows from one of my friends baby girl so i'm showing you now how i cut the baby grows so i cut it on the side seams like this to make this um, memory kilt you need about 12 to 15 baby grows you can use the front and the back of the baby grows this is my first time to do this project so i'm making this um, one for my friend who's got a little girl and one for another friend who's got a little boy so here i'm showing you um how i made this for her little girl so the first step here is just to cut all these uh, baby grows so you can use the back and the uh, front of the baby grows I think this is the most um, time-consuming on this project is the cutting so once you've cut all your uh, baby grows What I've did, done is um, I cut a square, 8 inches by 8 inches square of um, interfacing. And then I iron it on the back of the baby grows which I've cut. So this is 8 by 8 inches. So here I just iron it on. So I'm using 8 inches by 8 inches square. So do this with all the baby grows. Once I finish doing this, um, I'm ready to cut my squares. Now that I finished um, iron it on the back of the baby grows, I'm ready to cut um, my squares. I'm using um, a rotary cutter here, so it's so easy to cut. There you are, I've done it all now. Now I'm ready to arrange the squares. So just um, arrange it according to your design. Once you finish arranging, take a picture of it so you got the reference just in case you forgot. And now I'm ready to sew by column. And here I got the first column which I put a number on it so I won't be able to forget. So put right sides together on the first two squares and then attach the third one and pin and then the last one. And then you bring it to the sewing machine and sew it together. After pitting it together, I attach the number again so I'll know which column it is. And then I do this to the rest of the column. So this is number two. And then do, do it for number three, four, and five. Do the same. 
Once we finish everything, now we're ready to sew it together. I'm using half an inch uh, seam allowance here. Now that I finished um, sewing it together, this is what it looks like now. And then we're um, gonna bring it to our ironing board and then iron the seam open. So we'll have a flat uh, seam in the front. Then after ironing, I still need to attach the number so I won't um, make a mistake. So this is what it looks like now after ironing and then we're ready to sew the columns together. So we'll take the first column and attach it to the second column and pin it together. And then we're gonna bring it to the sewing machine and sew it together. So this is how you attach here. Make sure the seam is aligned. And then pin. And now bring it to the sewing machine and then sew with half an inch seam allowance. Once we finish the sewing the first and second column together and then we're gonna pin again the third column to the second and we'll do this until you know the last column. Now we're ready to attach the last column of our blanket and then this is what it looks like now after we sewn it together. Now we're ready to uh, prepare our backing fabric. So just lay it flat on the floor. And then prepare our batting. So I lay it over the backing fabric as well. And lay flat our um, memory blanket so what I've done here I cut the batting three centimeter wider than the main memory blanket so I just mark three centimeter around the blanket I pin the three together first just to avoid the movement and then 
I measured again the backing fabric 10 centimeters wider than the main memory blanket. So the batting is 3 centimeters wider than the memory blanket and the backing fabric is 10 centimeters wider than the memory blanket. Now we're ready to fold over our um, backing fabric. So just fold it over and then pin. Now I finished folding over my backing fabric. Now we're going to bring it to our sewing machine and sew it around. After sewing around the edges, so this is our finished project now. A memory blanket for a little girl. And I also made a memory kilt for a little boy, little boy of my friend. And this is so cute as well. I put the rugby shirt in the middle and then the back of the rugby shirt, I put it on the back of the memory quilt as well, which looked like this and hope you like it please don't forget to like and subscribe thank you bye have a good day